Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back by my channel. My name is Destiny and today I thought I'd just do a quick thrift haul with you guys. As you can tell I have my toddler down here with me, one of them. Um, I've been to three thrifting opportunities this week. <laughs> three thrifting opportunities this week. A Play-Doh's Closet, a kind of local thrift store, and a Goodwill. So I'll just show you what I picked up. And you guys can let me know down in the comments if you would have picked these things up or if you know anything about the stuff that I don't, please feel free to drop it down below. Um, the first thing I picked up at Play-Doh's, I had a 20% off coupon. This is a Patagonia. Um, I guess it's just like a pullover. So I did pay up at Play-Doh's like normal. This was $20, but it was only $16. Or... I want to know it. Caleb. Huh? Only $16 because I had the coupon. I thought it was nice. I like to put things like this in my store because it does bring in traffic. Hoping to photograph all this today before I go over to my grandparents. Um, picked up these basic Crocs. Play-Doh's one in $7 for these, so I got 20% off of that. So they were like $5.60, less than I paid at the regular thrift. These are a women's six. And yeah, they're like this kind of a Tiffany blue color. I don't know what I might get for some of these things or I don't like to give comps, but these are actually Bowden shoes, which I've never sold their shoes. I like at my Play-Dohs to look for like the more mature brands because <laughs> they usually price those lower, even though they're worth more than like the stuff they price up. These are a women's size 40. So I think that means they're like a, a 10, I guess, but I'll look up their size chart. They're kind of cool. They're just like a pointed toe flat silver and they wanted ten dollars for these so i paid eight the last pair of shoes i got to play those i didn't get a lot this day i didn't have a whole lot of time to look these are j crew like pony hair dorsey i think that's how you say that flats um uh, i didn't notice they do have a little wear which you can't even see but inside here is peeling just a little bit where someone's like almost looks like their toes scratched it I don't know, but it shouldn't be too big a deal. These are a women's size 10 and a half. They wanted $12, so, you know, paid around nine. I thought they were cool. Like I said, another mature brand. The last thing I got at Play-Doh's, and I did pay up for this, imagine that, is this bag. It is Patricia Nash. Um, this is her symbol. And then on the inside, and this is what the tag looks like. This was $35. Um, it looks to be in really good condition. With the coupon, I paid $28. And I looked at comps before I bought it. On this, I did. It looks like this bag, this is all leather. I don't see any flaws on it. Um, other than just like, yeah. Other than just like, some normal just you know scuffing and stuff the bottom looks really nice it's this pretty maroon color it looks like this bag goes from between 100 to 150 and the inside is very clean i don't like to sell handbags that much because I, for one i don't know a lot about handbags two i don't like to clean them but i couldn't pass this one up i thought it was really pretty and then it, i think this is called the martina bag or something like that and you will hear him, my son Caleb, talking in the background the whole time because he's staying down here with me while the baby naps. All right, here's what I got at Goodwill. This dress, I don't know how it will do. I thought it was cool. This is a brand called Pinup Couture. And I sold their shoes, and they do well. It's a size large. And like the brand says, these are like pinup style dresses, just with the old style. Like, you know, the 50s kind of look to them. They have the flowy skirt. Size large, nice animal print. I don't know how much I can get for this. It was half off. I think it used to have a belt because it has some belt loops. I think this one, no, this was not half off. Oh, yes, it was. Pink barbs were half off. So that was like $3. Hey guys, I'm editing this video and I just wanted to let you know that that pinup couture dress, the comps on that style are $60 to $70. And, um, sorry if you hear Coco Melon in the background, um, 60 to $70. Mine was missing the belt and it, um, had some like wash wear and stuff. It sold 
in an hour on Mercari for $39. Um, so pinup couture might be some dresses you want to look out for if you see them at the thrift. I picked up these airy sleep shorts in a size large. I might keep these. I haven't decided yet. If not, airy sells really fast for me. Pockets. This I grabbed by the counter. This is another piece I got just to helpfully bring some people in. This is a Patagonia base layer. This was $8, but I had, at our Goodwills, you get a stamp. Every time you spend $15, you get one stamp. So I had a, a little card full and I got $15 off my whole purchase. So for everything I bought, I paid $75. This is just a black base. This is something I wouldn't always pick up, but this is a loft skirt in a size 14. I like the pattern on it. It's like blue and embroidered and yellow. Just thought it was a fun skirt. I do like to sell skirts, so. All right, these are interesting. These are from Aerie. I have two pairs of these. And this is called Aerie Real, and they're running shorts that are lined for women on their cycle you know what I mean and they've got like this really thick lining these are new without tags they still have the you know like where you can tell they haven't even been worn so I got this black pair and they're size extra large and then I got this pair you can see it better the lining on this one and these are green like I said both size extra large kind of this fun floral print don't know how much you can get for these, but I thought I'd give them a try. Like I said, Aerie does super well for me. I found this on the new rack. I've never found one of these. Don't know how it'll do. This is a women's extra small. This is a champion reverse weave hoodie. It's just a solid gray with the classic champion look. And it feels, I love the feel of these. I have a Harry Tornado Champion hoodie and I love it. It's very thick and nice quality. My husband tried this on, but he didn't like the color. This is just a men's Orvis vest for fishing or outdoor stuff. So I'll just list that. Um, this I picked up, I might try to sell it in my buy sell trade group. It does have somebody's name on the inside, just stamped. You can't see it from the outside and it has a stain down here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Where was that at? Right here, like a grease stain. I might be able to get that out, but this is a Hannah Anderson bathing suit. This is a girl's size 12. I was looking at it for my daughter, but she's only in size six. So this would take forever for her to get into. Um, otherwise it's really like you know, really clean other than just that little spot. And I thought it was super cute. Little bathing suit. Should probably get at least 15 out of that. Especially if I can get the stain out. Found these on the new rack. This was a good new rack at that Goodwill. These are Torrid Active. And these are a size double zero um, at Torrid, which is like a 10, I think. But they're a green color. Caleb. Shh. These are a green color. And they have this cool uh, lattice work at the bottom. I'm gonna try these on because they're my size and I need some leggings. I've never tried toward leggings out. This is just a Grant style shirt and I believe it's recently become a Vero on eBay. This is a men's size small. And it just says D-Day on it. Grant style does okay. It doesn't sell for a whole lot because it only retails for like 25, but I haven't decided I might keep this somewhere. This shirt I did get for myself. It was half off and it says I skipped leg day on it. And it has this flamingo wearing Converse. I, I just thought it was really funny. So that'll be for me. I picked up a lot of stuff for myself. Um, I think this is, I have a few more things from Goodwill. Um, these are Steve Madden for men suede like loafers and they have that bridal look. They're called the Kelvin style. They looked basically new other than the $10 mark up here. Um, yeah, I sold a pair of Steve Madden men's shoes for like 50 or $60. So I think those would do okay. I usually, I don't pick up most Steve Madden for women I see, but we'll try it out. 
This is kind of peely and I can't tell. This is soft surrounding, I'll just tell you that. And it is 20% wool and 10% alpaca. So I think that's why it kind of looks so peely because it is wool and alpaca. I don't know. If it is too peely, I'm, I mean, it is really peely. But it was half off, I think. Yeah, I think it was half off. And I don't know. I just thought it was a cool duster cardigan. Good fabric content. I don't know. Let's see. Got a couple more things from Goodwill. This is a Talbot's dress. It had the markup tag on it, but they didn't mark it up. So I don't know. Talbot size small. Just a green classic striped dress. And then it has these cute little zippers on the sleeves. Talbot's does really well for me. It's really expensive retail. All right. I think two more things from Goodwill. This I also found on the rack. I haven't inspected it really well, but it is free people and it is a size extra small. Oh, this one was half off too. Why was this on the new rack? I know pink was the half off color, but I've never seen this free people dress before. It's really cute. It has the tag down here. So I'll just check that out and see if I can find a stock photo. If I can, before I publish this, I'll put it up because I don't think me holding it is doing it any favors. And then it has a, a hole in the back that you can lace up. I've never found free people at this store. I hardly ever find free people anyway, so definitely wanted to pick that up. The last thing I got at Goodwill, and you guys maybe can help me with this. I can figure out which way it goes. I almost didn't get it, but it's really cool. This is a vintage poncho and it is blanket lined. Excellent condition. Let's see if I can, it is huge and like, you know, goes completely over you like this. And you can, it's the armhole, there's buttons. It is reversible. I know you can't see my head right now. It's reversible. And it has a hood. It has only one tag. And when I looked at the RN number, it said it was from Kmart. This just says professionally dry clean. It doesn't have the brand on it actually. It is a wool blend. I think I'm gonna price it kind of high. But if you guys have any tips on that, let me know. It is super heavy, so I kind of hope it sells on Poshmark. <laughs> All right, the last thing. Oh, gosh. This is a bag from the local thrift store, and they do price up my hair today, guys. Um, they do price up their items quite a bit. So these items, I all I paid up for all of them. I don't think many of these stores have been in this thrift store because either they don't want to pay up or they haven't been there because there was a lot of good items. The first thing I grabbed were these Sorel boots. They are in almost new condition, I think. They were $30. And they're a women's size six. This is like a wool and leather. Um, I haven't comped these. I mean, I know I wouldn't lose money and I know that's not the great business model to have, but I my phone did not work in this store. So I had to do what I had to do. But anyway, Hopefully, 30, or paid 30 for those. I'm hoping they'll be worth at least 75, if not more. The only, oh no, not the only other pair. The pair of shoes I got next are these Red Wing. Let's see if I can find it. These are vintage Red Wing. And they say Pecos, Pesos, Pesos on the um, handles. They're cowboy boots. These are men's 9 and 9B, so they are a narrow or like an extra narrow, which isn't great. But they're really nice. They were $30. I hope they're worth it. The soles look really, everything looks really good on these. So like I said, probably wouldn't lose money on those. It may take them a while to sell. Next is something else I've never found. Seven for All Mankind, which I have found, but these are dojos which oh you can't really see but d-o-j-o -O. dojo jeans this is the style of seven for all mankind that does well they're like a boot cut these are a women's 30 which is a 10 which is probably why i found them because i was looking at my size 
these were $15, so I know dojos can usually sell between, I think, 40 to 50 Yes. Oh, the turtle sliding. All right, next. Another brand I've never found. These were $10. And I don't know how you say this. Faraday, Faraday. I'm trying to find, well, on the patch, but you can't even see it there. Oh, it says underneath the size right here. Right there, Faraday. These are 31 and they were in the women's section. So I'm gonna have to look and see for sure if these are women's because they would be like a women's 12. I've heard this brand has a great sell through rate. Yes. Okay, a wolf. This is something um, big dogs size 2x, and it is this Hawaiian shirt. Now it is kind of faded, and I looked up comps. They're not actually great on these, and this was nine dollars. So probably should have left this one, but maybe it'll sell quick. Like I said, had no service in there. Only had about 20 minutes, and so I was just rushing. These are not in great condition, but they were only seven dollars. They are Nike Zoom, and they are a youth youth five, but. They're not in bad shape, they're just, you can tell they've been worn. I like this camo with the Velcro hook and loop, if you will, if you sell on eBay. And yeah, so that's like a women's six and a half, I think. Not bad. I haven't looked up comps on anything except the Hawaiian shirt. It was funny, I posted on my Instagram story, there was a new Attack American Eagles American Eagle pair of jeans that were size 14, like a mom jean. They wanted $32 for those. And then these frame jeans were $8. So apparently they don't know all the brands. They're size 29. They are a skinny, which I know some people aren't picking up as much. But um, these are black. They're in excellent condition. They are distressed. So these are pretty cool. I found, this is my first time finding this brand. Now, there might be a flaw, but I'm not sure. These are called Ufos, and I always see Kathy from Ginger Marvin talking about these. These are a women's seven. They do have this in here, like a pad. I don't know if that is supposed to be there. I haven't looked it up yet, but they're like a clog style, and they're supposed to be super comfortable. Not really my style, but dude, they feel like clouds on your feet. That's so funny. Anyway, I'll have to see if that's supposed to be there. If you know, let me know. But like I said, hoping to photograph most of this today. Because it's just been sitting in a bag all week. Alright, also, remember, American Eagle Jeans, $32. $7.99, All Saints Jeans. This is the first thing I saw when I walked in on the rack. I just saw this cool bleach dyed pattern. These are called the Ava and they're women's 26. I just saw this, didn't know they were anything special. Like I didn't know the brand when I could see them from across the room, just walked over and looked. And I don't think I've ever found All Saints while I've been out thrifting. So excited about these. They do have, well, it's not really puckering, but almost looks like puckering. I guess there might be just some of the elastic, but it looks like it's all over. So it might just be the way the white denim is where it's been bleached and they could just be wrinkled because they look like that all over. All right, and the last, the last thing I got is something that's not super exciting. This is Duluth Trading Company and it is a men's 2XL, which is why I got it. I was selling Duluth anyway, but this is a Hawaiian vintage shirt blue. I think this was also $9. Yeah. So anyway, it's like a fishing kind of shirt because it's vented and it's the quick dry material. So I'm sorry this video had a toddler interruption, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm finding where I'm at. You can let me know down below what thrift items you've been seeing and I would appreciate if you all would subscribe and give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.